All right, welcome. Hello, everyone. We are very excited to kick off our Purple Prevention Thursdays. Um, I am Stephanie Klotz. I'm the professional training manager here at JBWS. And um, my coworker, Maddie, is also here. Hi, I'm Maddie Hahn. I'm the manager of the Dating Abuse Prevention Program for JBWS. And to start us off this evening, we are going to hear a video from our president and CEO, Diane Williams. Now you might be asking yourself, why is that important to me? Well, did you know that one in four women, one in seven men, and one in three teens are victims of violence in their relationship? That it cuts across all groups, regardless of race, culture, ethnicity, class, or sexual orientation. Anyone can be a victim of domestic violence. And that's why everyone has to be part of the solution. At JBWS, we envision a community-wide culture that refuses to tolerate the presence of any form of intimate partner violence. And that can start with you. Imagine if every single person committed to doing just one thing to prevent domestic violence or support someone who is suffering from abuse. Our collective action can be powerful and together we can create real social change. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining us in our mission to end domestic violence in our community. So that, thank you, Diane, for kicking us off with our um, really exciting Prevention Thursdays. This month, we've got every Thursday coming up some information sessions, a chance for you to ask questions, um, really interact and learn about ways that you can help to prevent domestic violence in your own community. So next week, we've got domestic violence and COVID, looking at how that's impacted survivors. The week after that, we've got impact on children and how you can help build resilience. And then we're gonna have dating violence and impact on teens. And we're gonna wrap up the month with tech safety, which is something that every survivor and really all of us can benefit from. So another way that you can get involved along with watching our Prevention Thursdays with me and Steph each week, um, you can get involved on social media. So you can use social media to raise awareness of intimate partner abuse, create your own profile picture and create posts using hashtag DVAM. Follow us on Facebook and share our posts throughout the month and to engage with our followers in the different campaigns we have going on. You can stay tuned on our Instagram accounts. We are at JBWSDV and we are also at No To Dating Abuse. So you can go on our Facebook and you can find either of the links to these social media accounts. We are gonna be doing some Purple Thursdays and why we wear purple on our social media accounts. We're partnering with Drew University for that as well to continuously raise awareness. And as Diane mentioned in the beginning, we can all do one thing. This year, JBWS joins the Domestic Violence Awareness Project in its One Thing campaign. The One Thing message unites our individual voices while highlighting the power of our collective action. So one thing, we can all choose to do one thing to raise awareness about. That's amazing, Maddie. And I just want to add that the One Thing campaign is through the Domestic Violence Awareness Project. And their one thing that they've identified is no survivor justice without racial justice. And I want to highlight that as um, a really important overarching uh, message for hashtag One Thing. Your One Thing doesn't have to be related to that, but that is definitely part of the movement right now. And 
acknowledging the racial inequalities that survivors are facing is really part of how we can pave the way to creating safe survivor spaces, uh, both physically and emotionally. You also can check out other awareness projects, uh, domestic violence awareness project activities like the National Call for Unity and their universal prayer. A lot of faith communities are impacted by this issue and are a great resource and support for, survivor, for survivors navigating DV and abuse in their home. We also offer community awareness education sessions for faith communities, if that's something that you would like to bring into the place of worship for yourself. Um, we would love to engage with the community in that way to help raise awareness. We also acknowledge that this work is not just done by JBWS. Our partners all across the community help us to support survivors and do the work that we do. And we invite all of you to nominate a community partner or individual that you think we should highlight for our Domestic Violence Awareness Month for their um, awareness uh, raising capacity in their community. <clears throat> I also want to provide some information from Helen Lafoy about our special events that are coming up this month. Um, lots of ways that you can get involved and also have some fun. Hi, my name is Helen Lafoy and I'm the Vice President of Development for JBWS. In addition to all of the wonderful awareness raising events that we have scheduled for October during Domestic Violence Awareness Month, we have two special events that promise to be fun for everyone who participates. The 8th Annual Autumn Auction for Hope is an energetic fundraising event offering guests the opportunity to bid on experiences, women's apparel, accessories, jewelry, new or very gently used designer handbags, restaurant and retail gift cards, home decor items, and travel experiences. This year's event will be held virtually and will include an online silent auction, instant buy items, and a program for participants to enjoy, including hearing from one of our very special survivors. You can join us on Tuesday, October 6th at 7 o'clock p.m. Enjoy the one hour program and then shopping will be open and bidding will be open for a few days after that closing at the end of the week. Our second event is the Half Marathon for Hope and anyone can participate from anywhere. And because you can complete the event according to your own ability, the Half Marathon for Hope is for everyone from serious runners to competitive athletes to occasional walkers. Simply run, jog, or walk your half marathon all at once or in intervals at any time between October 24th and November 1st and email your results to us by the end of the day on November 1st. Ask your family, friends, or coworkers to support your efforts by donating to JBWS. We'll even help you set up the fundraising page. And then join us on Monday evening, November 2nd, for a live Zoom party to celebrate all of our participants and winners and award our medals. For more information on these two events, plus so much more, please visit our website at www.jbws.org. Hope to see you at the events. Thank you. Thanks so much, Helen. I love that no matter whether you are a shopper or a runner, there's something that you can do to help raise some, uh, raise some funds for survivors and also have a little fun. Another thing you can do to get involved with um, Domestic Violence Awareness Month is becoming an awareness ambassador. Being an awareness ambassador can be for anyone and everyone. So this just means that you have identified that you are passionate about domestic violence and you want to help raise awareness. Anyone can do this from any group, any place of work, coming together to raise awareness within your community. And it can really be in so many different places. So perhaps you're part of a civic group or a faith community, maybe at your place of employment, you've had a coworker in the past that has navigated this issue and you want your HR to learn how to be more supportive and put policy in place. We provide training and education for all different groups. Um, if you're a nurse or uh, someone who sees survivors in your field, 
Uh, we can come out and do training specified for what it is that your role is with a survivor to help you uh, get the tools that you need to navigate people to safety. There's tons of things that you can do besides that. You can also connect and create your own fundraiser. Perhaps you um, have a you know, yard sale and you wanted to go to JBWS, people are cleaning out their houses right now during COVID. Um, and so whatever it might be, the sky's the limit. The, being an awareness ambassador is, is about saying that, you know, in my spaces where I am, I am looking to make change and raise awareness and um, really just bring this home, right? To where it matters to you. And any teens who may be joining us tonight or any parents of teens, as I said, I'm the manager of the Dating Abuse Prevention Program, and I'm actually going to be starting awareness ambassadors as well within local high schools. I'm hopeful to get an awareness ambassador from each high school to come together as a collective group and talk about how we can raise awareness and they can be advocates for their school to get this really important information. Awesome, Maddie. I love when young people are getting involved. They're so excited about talking about this issue, which I love. So if you are watching us on Facebook after October 1st, you can still register to be part of our Zoom chats and get your questions answered. Our next session is on domestic violence and COVID. You can attend one or all of the sessions, but we're really excited to be bringing these information series to you because we know that awareness, plus action equals social change. And that is um, just what we're looking to do here for Domestic Violence Awareness Month. If you're looking to get our full toolkit on how to get involved, you can find that at jbws.org. And there are plenty of other ideas on how to raise awareness in your community there. So if we don't have any questions, I wanna thank everyone for joining us and I hope to see you on our next video. Thanks so much for joining us. We look forward to seeing you every Thursday in October.